Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Jamie. I am a wife, a mom to three teenagers, and I'm also a teacher. And I am trying to get ready for back to school by getting every part of my house organized so I am ready to go for a successful school year. This is video number five of our back to school organization, five out of six. And today we are going to tackle my medicine cabinet. Although I have some things organized, it still has a lot of work. So let's get to cleaning. Now that my space is empty, I have everything over here on my counter. I am going to go through everything, see if there is anything that is expired, and throw it away. put everything in its spot, in its bucket. I have organizing buckets for everything. I have a first aid bucket, miscellaneous medicine, which is pretty much our Tylenol, Aleve, um, allergy medicine, cold medicines, and then I have ones from when my girls were little, when they had to have different um, types of medicines than everybody else, but right now I just have like heating pad things in them and um, wraps for um, knees or hands. Kate and Jason have broken bones before and so we have some things left over from those wrap wise. So now I'm going to put everything back. Because these two are already open, I didn't want to put them in one of my tubs um, just in case they spilled. So these did remain out and I made sure that my first aid was pretty um, easily accessible. Also, I made sure my thermometer was out with our kids going back to school. It's important that we take their temperatures every morning and we want to keep everyone safe. So be sure to have your thermometer handy and make sure it works. All right, that looks a lot better. I am going to take the garbage out from all of the excess packaging I got rid of, and then we're gonna go look under my kitchen sink, or my bathroom sink, sorry. Okay, we are now in my bathroom, and we're gonna go under the sink here, and I'm gonna show you what I keep under here and where I do store things. Okay. 
Okay, as you can see, there's not a whole lot under here. I um, have a cup. We have these pull-out um, things here um, where we can keep things. I am going to wipe this out since it does look like it needs it. So I will take my spray, that my cleanup spray that I just keep under the sink. Anything we are not using or should be in a different place, I'm going to put away, which in this cupboard is... Okay, now that you've seen under my sink, you're probably wondering where in the world do I keep things? Well, I'll just go through my cupboards here. Here I've got my makeup. Here we just have some batteries and different things. Down here is where I keep my hairbrush, extra makeup things. This drawer down here is extras that we use. This is paper and craft things. Over here, we keep our, um, our chargers, flashlights, and here, I keep different things, my makeup wipes, floss, my straightener and curling iron, extra tooth things. And then down here, we have a few more extras. Jason's things are in this cupboard. Here we have our um, towels. Then down here, I had ordered this organizer for Jason. This was supposed to fit under our bathroom sink, but it was too big. But this is just where he keeps his things to get ready in the morning. Back here, I also keep our um, bags from when we go to Walmart or things like that so I can fill line my garbage cans with them. And that's pretty much what we do. I didn't show you up here. This is up here. This is where I have the things that I get ready in the morning. My extra supplies, nail care, just the things I use. And then up here and that basket is our extra toilet paper and things I just keep up there. So basically if we're not using it, we try not to keep it around or um, have too much excess things. That's our goal anyway. All right, we are in my living room now and someone had asked me what I do to store blankets. Well, here is one of the spots. This um, table also is a basket and it has blankets in there. Um, anytime you can use decor as storage, that is awesome. If my children were still little, I would probably put toys in here and use it that way. I might even fill that basket over there with some of their toys, or I would probably open those drawers and those doors and have some storage in there. Again, it doesn't um, have to be something big and fancy. It can be simple as just a regular basket that you have. Let me show you some other spots where I store things. All right, we are in my basement, and in the winter, we spend a lot of time down here as a family. And one of the spots I store blankets is in this wire basket. 
You can find these baskets at the dollar store. In fact, this one was one that um, was made for like a laundry thing. I just took the lining out and used it like this. So just different ways you can go about storing things and kind of make it decorative as well.